All right, we are outside the tiny house here. Definitely a big behemoth. The total weight on this thing is right about 20,000 pounds. It's got triple 7,000 pound axles, so we're just about the limit there. Um, and as far as width, height, and, uh, and length, you're at just over 40 foot long. It's built to 13 foot four inches tall and eight foot five inches wide. So you're just at that legal limit without needing a permit and needing to go back. You notice the rooftop deck extends beyond that and how it works is there's large wings, I call them bat wings, but it's a huge hinge that goes on either side and basically flips up. So you can remove the deck, the railing from the deck and then just flip those up uh, as far as on either side and you can travel down the road with those as far as still being within your heights, limits and all that you need to there. On the front of this, it's of course a gooseneck style. You can either use a fifth wheel or a, uh, a gooseneck kingpin that's interchangeable up in the front there. And then I mentioned my mini split earlier. The mini split is used uh, as far as the conditioner up front here. But you also have some jacks on the front for stabilization uh, and as far as you know moving around and that works out really, really nice. There is skirting uh, that comes with this as well. So just want to point that out, but we'll continue our little tour. Moving around the back here, um, how we work this out is using a utility closet that's insulated. So I want to show you inside that what you get and um, and how it's utilized. So most of the appliances and everything here are run off of propane. And because of that, uh, we need propane as far as a heat source. So you can see a propane tank in here. It's actually set up for two on the inside. And then I have another spout coming out over here. And that's for a hundred pound propane if, if you wanted to use a larger one. Outside of the propane, all of that leads to this on-demand hot water heater. It's certainly large enough to feed a whole house. It's at 4.2 gallons per minute that you can utilize. And, um, and that's really what you get. In the winter, this uh, room back here does stay heated because we have a uh, water heater and water moving around. So that's why you see the insulation on the walls, but it all works out pretty well. The last thing I'll show you is the hookups. So for the hookups, you have your standard water inlet uh, on the side here, and we do have some insulated hoses that we use in the winter to utilize. And then um, you have your connections here. So for the power, what we do is just a 50 amp inlet and you can utilize anything step up or down, but it is just a plug there. And then we have our gray water output here, which you can see is just going on the ground. And the last thing is you'll notice the wire hanging down and that's all wired for uh, insulated for winter. So in the winter, you'll just plug these heat tape in that's run throughout the entire piping of the house. So for example, if I go up here, for example, you'll see what I did is I just ran heat tape around the entire pipe and that way I can just plug it in in the winter. So overall works out really well. Um, I've actually lived in this house for a total of four winters and um, yeah, no problems at all, even down to the negative. So come and check this out. She sure is a beaut. Welcome, welcome to this fabulous tiny house on wheels. Let's take you inside and show you what we got. All right, walking in, the first thing you're going to notice is a full-sized kitchen with a big farm sink, dishwasher, stove, and refrigerator. And the refrigerator is huge. So walking in, yeah, lots and lots of storage space up top. You've got plenty for open shelving. And then again, with the large farm sink, um, each of the cabinets in the kitchen all pull out. So for example, they have their little pull out shelves here, and that's true for all of them. In the corner, you have a very, very nice, large double shelf open storage that you can get into and, uh, and, and store lots of things. For the stove, it's all propane and uh, you have a beautiful blue interior here. Just wanted to show. All right, keep it on going. Um, for the living room, also you have this little storage cubby, which is very nice that you can use for uh, different spices and other things. The couch comes with the house and it even pulls out into another bed so you can utilize it. The total living room is a little over eight feet by eight feet. I think you're at 91 inches there. And the TV is on a swivel so that way it can come out to this direction and you can watch it from any length of the house. Um, moving on from the kitchen just a little bit more, uh, you do have a pull-out drawer that can go and fits in very nicely for storage, as well as different pull-out shelving for different food items, for example. So and that's on both sides of the fridge. You've got that one there, and then two more here for a double stack. And that kind of rounds out the, the kitchen. The fridge is definitely huge. Um, opens both sides, and then you have the nice big freezer underneath, all built in. On top of the fridge, over here a little more storage, definitely lots more storage up here. So we utilize this for different things, for kitchen utensils, bins, other things like that. And then moving this way, on top of the linen closet, 
You also have some storage up there. And this is huge. It's actually a double stack linen closet that you can utilize for all of your clothes and your wardrobe items and things like that. So that works out very nice. Next to the linen closet, we have a small dinette table that can go up or down depending on your use, as well as a couple of more open shelving. Moving to the bathroom, this is pretty unique. The first thing is you have a pocket door here that closes. So if you want some privacy, you can go ahead and utilize that. But most of the time it's utilized as uh, being open. In the bathroom, you have a full size, oversized really, washer and dryer combo. And it works really out uh, very nice to be able to utilize. The dryer is run off of propane again. Um, you have plenty of shelving in here for the bath. Again, for all of your different towels and laundries and different things. Private vanity here. Uh, this was all custom made with the rocks. And then you have a rainfall uh, water faucet there and uh, your basic mirror. Um, moving on to the shower. Uh, all of the shower work was again custom work, but you have a double vanity here. So you have two different heads that you can utilize. Plenty of space for two people to take showers. And I hung up pictures in here because I enjoyed it as well. Along with the shower, you have a huge custom bathtub that you can go ahead and rock out and get into and uh, utilize, fill up, soak when you want to. There's also a window here in the bathroom. <clears throat> um, just wanted to show you some of the versatility in the bathroom. Uh, this I use for folding clothes and then it goes down just by a couple of pieces underneath, drops down, and then you can utilize it for the toilet. But again, showing you versatility. The toilet itself is known as an incinolet toilet. So this will do a burning method for your waste and you actually do your business in these little coffee filters. Go ahead and press the button down here and then the button in order to press a fan kicks on as well as an internal burner. You usually have to empty it about once a month depending on use. The house here does have a full electrical panel with a 100 amp hookup. So if you go to a permanent solution that is wired as such so you can go ahead and utilize it. But yeah, plenty of space to move on, rock out. You got different LED lighting with all the in uh, recessed here in the bathroom. Just pointing that out. Um, going upstairs, just showing you in the stairs is a, a built-in furnace. So you can utilize either the electrical heat or the propane in the winter if you'd like to. But you do have a uh, full bad room up here. So this I can actually stand, which I'm doing right now upstairs. You can sit up in bed, no problem. And you have full window views going around place to put your TV, a few more clothes, and I guess more storage. The last thing I'll point out before going outside is the fact that you have this up here. That is your mini split that is utilized mainly for your heat as well as your air conditioning um, throughout the year. When it gets a little bit below freezing, that's when I go ahead and kick on the propane heat. Lastly, let's take you outside.